guys, it's Dean from The Voice Factor here and welcome to my crash course in how to follow sheet music. We'll be going through a few things in this video, but it will be super easy for you. Firstly, what I would like you to do is to glance over this piece of music and I would like to see how you feel about following this sheet of music. How does that make you feel right now? For some of you, you might be freaking out already. Hopefully you won't turn off the computer just yet. For others, you'll sort of see, oh, okay, well, you can see some words in there, so there is hope. For others, you can sort of follow some music. Or for some of you, you might find this relatively easy if you've trained before musically. So the goal of this video is to get you from a less confident state into a more confident state when you are following sheet music. So our first topic will be sharing the stave and I'm going to give you a new perspective on how to look at it. I want you to imagine that we have an apartment building called the stave and it has four tiers or four floors. So the highest floor in our apartment building will be the soprano level for our high singers. So singing up here. Ah! So the next level down is the third floor in our stave building and that's for our alto singers. Ah, ah. Our second level will be our tenor level and that's for our high male range. So if you're a male and you can sing quite high or if you're a lady and you can sing quite low, this is our tenor floor and that's singing about here. Ah, ah. Our lowest floor is our bass floor and that's for our low male range. Sing very low, I won't be able to do it because I can't sing that low. So now what I'm going to do is overlay a stave, an actual musical stave, and you'll be able to see how that applies to our apartment building. So we've got our soprano level, alto level, tenor level, and bass level. It's no different. On the side, we have a bracket. And basically, that's just like an external wall holding our soprano, alto, tenor, and bass floors all together. So if you look at it in this way, then a musical stave is not so daunting. All we're doing is putting four floors together, SATB, which stands for soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, and holding it together with a wall. The musical stave is exactly like a ladder. As notes travel down the stave, you sing lower. Ah. And as notes travel up the stave, your voice climbs higher. Ah. And seeing musical patterns in ups and downs is a fantastic stepping stone to eventually learning how to read music. Remember our apartment building and our four floors. Now there's a rule with the apartment building and that is that if you start on one floor, you stay on that floor. You don't travel to any other level. So when you're reading music, for example, if you're a soprano, you're going to follow the soprano line. So you get to the end of that line. Where do you go? You don't jump onto the alto, tenor or bass floors. You move on to the next bracket and follow your line. So music is chopped up into equal sections based on its rhythmic patterns. I don't want you to worry about that right now except that we have these vertical lines being placed all the way through the music and they're called bar lines and the space between them are called bars. You'll notice that there is a little number at the start of the next bracket now that you know what brackets are. So um, that's basically saying that that first bar on that second line is bar number nine. And you'll be able to count the bars. Just test it for yourself. Count across the top, across your floor. So if you're counting across the soprano floor, you'll be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the end of the line there. You go on to the next bracket, which is bar number nine. Okay, so that's just a little bit of navigating around. So just one last thing before I go. So by following our rules, our apartment floor rules, where you're following one line and one line only in each bracket, basically you're starting your lyric from the start, which is bar number one, and you're following through, through your part, so you get to the end of the line, and you're going through to the next bracket. So have a look at this sheet of music now, and I want you to follow with me, just lyrically. 
So starting at bar number one, reading through the lyrics only. Let's do it together. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. And that's how you navigate through a piece of music. This is a really basic version of it at the moment in my crash course. I will be offering some more courses for those who want to carry on and learn some more. So hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.